common area cleaning with a professional. Hello, my name is Samuel Quartin. I've been doing this work for more than 10 years. Today I want to show you how to clean your bathroom, your toilet and your washroom. I know it's very difficult to do all this kind of thing. That's what people think. But today I want to show you the easiest way to do this. Come with me and I will show you. Come. Kitchen. There are a lot of challenges in a common area kitchen. We will only talk about some of them here and we will start with the recycling. Here we are. As you can see, the kitchen. We have a lot of things to do here. Check the recycling here. We need to put everything in order, the glasses and everything here, the papers in one place so that when we do the recycling, it will help the healthy life that we are living in this world. Come with me, let me show you how to do it. Yes, as I told you, we have challenges with the, the cans and the bottles. We have to make sure that all the cans go in one place and all the bottles go in the different places, right? So follow me, let me show you how to do it. We have a lot of spaces here. If you can see here, when you put your polythene bags here or the paper bags here, then you just put the glass in one place and the cans in a different place. It's not that hard. I bet you, you can do it easy way. Now you can see it look better already. You make sure you put everything in right order. Now we have only the papers, the cartons here. Then we have to put it in the right place. Kitchen, cleaning the sink area. Uh, before you can do this here, you have to make sure that you clear everything around you. With very short time, just make sure that you clear everything. So let me show you. Let's go. As you can see, I've cleared the whole place here. That will be easier for you to clean the place. Then you know how to start from the top here to down. Any chemical that you are using, please don't use any spray. We professionals don't recommend any spray thing because the reason why is when you spray it, you go through air and you breathe the chemical. It's not good for your health. So sometimes you use this kind of thing here, the bottle. So when you spray anything, you won't breathe anything, okay? So you start from the top. If you have your chemicals with you, put it a little bit here, start from the top. Kitchen, cleaning your refrigerator and especially the drain. Like I said, another challenge out uh, the refrigerator is very, very important. You have to clean the outside of the refrigerator, then you open inside. You can see, you have to take everything off from the refrigerator before you clean it. But one thing that is very, very important that we always miss are the drain. Most people forget about the drain and they have problem with the refrigerator and the water will drain down to the carpet or everything that they have in the room. So make sure that you clean this place from up here and check the drain here. You can see there's ice here. So if you don't open the drain for the ice to come out, then you find out that the water will drain down the hole to the floor. So make sure you take the ice off from this place. Kitchen, cleaning your floors, regardless if it is the kitchen, bathroom, toilet, etc. Yes, when you finish doing everything, your refrigerator and everything in the kitchen, when you finish, make sure you use your vacuum clean. Very, very important because all the particles on the floor, sometimes when you mop it, it's not working. So you, when you vacuum clean everything from the floor, then you can take your mops. Then you start cleaning everything. You can use a little bit water if you like. If you like, you can use a little bit of chemical that we can use it for the floor. Then you start cleaning your floor. Very, very, very important. The easiest way, you see. I'm doing very, very, very easy. Toilets, common area toilets need a lot of attention every week. You need to make sure to have the right equipment to clean it correctly. Yes, now we are going to show how to clean your toilet. 
they're very important you have your cloth with you you can just fold it like this and like this you can get eight size then it, very important thing start from your handle here because a lot of bacteria stuck here whether it's a private or public toilet you have to clean it from the back here and front here when we come to the inside the toilet the important ones is your mirror i have a special clothes for the mirror and a special clothes for the basket here and this side make sure you don't need chemicals in the mirror only water just put water here simple way right just go up and down up and down with your mirror you have to see your face very nice all the time because there's not much dirty here so you start forming your mirror when you finish your mirror take this one away don't forget your chemicals put your chemicals in here and I have this brush this professional so as I always say the professionals we have our professional brush here that you can put it in this side here and this one for the inside here but you can use your another brush for washing brush or dishes brush or if you have this one you can use this one then you start from here don't forget about your chemical you need your chemicals to so just soften it here then you continue from here I know it will be very fast for you very fast and very nice see you can see it now you clean this side because the, sometimes when you clean your hands the water drain comes to the side so it's very important to clean the side too then you fold it again the clean side then the dirty side goes inside so you can use only one to do all this then you turn back to your toilet you start from the top here a lot of bacteria is in the side you clean from this side make sure you have your chemicals with you you can put your chemicals here this side and inside here we clean from this side then you go from here you can turn it back as i said it's eight turn it back here then you take here this side take it up clean the other side then you clean it here When you finished make sure you take off your gloves very very important to have your gloves with you take off your gloves then you take the brush then you clean inside all the way inside then you flush it back the reason why I take off the gloves because there's a lot of bacteria around the gloves so when you take this brush you put the bacteria back here so you take off the gloves then you use your hands to clean inside believe me it works very nice shower rooms probably one of the most challenging areas to clean regardless if it is in a shared area or a private studio flat you need to make sure to have the right equipment to clean it correctly yes now we are in the shower room just add a little bit your chemicals on your cloth then you start from the top here very 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 important then you clean the whole thing 
the whole thing. From the top here, make sure you do it often because when you do it often, you won't get any rust in the metals. Then you get very nice washing room. Your shower will be smell very, very nice. Then you take these angles, very, very, very important. These angles are very, very important because the soaps and the shampoos always rust here. So when you take it often, then you won't find any problem in your bathroom. Then we professionals always use different style to clean the walls, whether it's this side or this side. We have our mugs here. It's very, very small. It's very cheap in the market. Then you put your chemicals here. Then you start from the top. You can see from the top. You clean everything from the top. All the way down. Do it often. Do it often. It will help you. Start from here. Thin it down here. Then, if you like, you can change this one, or if it's not dirty, then you can continue from this side. From the top, down. From the top, down. Get very, very nice, smelly, nice washing room. And don't forget about it. Like I said, the floor are very important. You can use vacuum clean to take every hair from the floor, then you clean the floor. Yeah, the floor is very, very important to have your scrub. It's very, very important. Get your chemicals, put it on the ground. You can wait a little bit when you see it that is very, very dirty. Just wait a little bit for the chemicals to soak everything. Then you start with your scrub. I bet you it's very, very, very easy to do this so that you can get your bathroom very, very clean. The shower room, the most important in the shower room is the drain. You can see, just pick any metal to open it like this. You can see a whole lot of dirt stuck here. You clean the whole place and come closer and see something here. Very, very, very serious here. A lot of dirt has stuck in this place. A lot of hair has stuck in this place. So you have to wash it, everything. Then you put it back. When you finish everything, then you put it back again. Then you close it. 